So um, I'm gonna go meet a little fr uh, little fan of mine. Um, one of his uh, one of my one of my mates mate. His son is a big fan of mine, and uh, he said it was always been a dream for me to for him to meet me. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go give him a, a little signed poster and and some you know UFC merchandise. So yeah, hopefully we can put a smile on his face. I got um, a little song for you I brought from Australia. Oh, cool, it's for you, Freddy. Right? And uh, it's some of the new UFC merch. So. I thought I'd just give you something. You guys came out all the way to come yeah, see man. me, bro. And, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Honestly, it makes, makes, me, makes, me, makes me feel good, you know, that you guys uh, come out all the way to come see me. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Hi, man. Freddy, it's nice to meet you. 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 Take it easy, man. Thank you. I never did this sport to, to for all that stuff, you know. It was always just for, for myself to prove myself. Um, yeah, it, it's it's nice. It's nice seeing that stuff, you know. It warms your heart that it like the the thing that I'm doing, the thing that I'm so passionate about. It inspires other kids and stuff. It's it's nice. It's uh yeah, warms your heart. And look, at the end of the day. If, if if what I do inspires people, you know, beautiful. If it doesn't, same thing. Like, I'm just I'm just doing what I'm passionate and what I love. And again, if if I can inspire inspire people, inspire kids on the way, then beautiful. And obviously, the fact that you know you've got a kid along the way now, does that change in terms of um, how you feel other kids looking up to you? Do you feel like you're, you know, you want to be a role model? In, in the sense that you can like accomplish things for other kids as well as your own? A little bit, a little bit, you know, I want to leave some values, you know, I want to, I want my, my kids to look up to me and, and see the, the values that I represent, you know, and yeah, that's, that's one thing that I would like to leave, you know, Le leave a, uh, you know, those values of, of, you know, if I put your head, if you put your head to something, you know, you can, you can achieve it no matter what, you know, whatever you, whatever you dream of, whatever you, Whatever you're passionate about, whatever it is, you know, if you can, you're gonna make it work. You're gonna you're gonna find a way to make it work regardless. So that that'd be something that I would like to leave, you know, for my kids. You know, to, again, I'm not try, again, I'm not trying to purposely be inspiring for these kids, but if I could leave something, it'd be something like along those lines of just, you know, if you're passionate enough, uh, you're gonna make it work, no matter what. You, you're gonna make it work. You guys want to come in? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we have Josh coming in. You're going to take this. Basically, yeah. No, no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. What's up, Josh? Hey, guys. How are we? Hello. How are we going? Very good. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Yo. Oh, Paul. What's up, man? How are you guys? How are we? Oh, you know. Yeah. Here we go. The man with the, the brightest smile in MMA. Ah, oh, so <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. How's things? Good. Good. I'm just, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be in London, experience this part of the world. Yeah, I'm excited. Does did that news uh, change the way you uh, had any perspectives on fighting, training, this particular fight? Yeah, for sure, for sure. There's, yeah, there's heaps of stuff that obviously comes into your mind when, when, that, when that happens. It's like, it's no longer I'm just fighting for myself. You know, I'm no longer selfish. It's more so I'm got to be selfless, you know? So, yeah, I'm no longer just fighting for myself and for, for me, you know? I'm, I'm fighting for my family now. You know, it gives me another, another purpose, another, yeah, another motivation, I guess. Hell of a streak as well. Mm -hmm. uh, things are going in the right direction. Yeah. Are, you, are you are you feeling are you feeling it now? Are you like feeling like bona fide UFC? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I just again, I'm just taking a, a fight at a time, not not looking past anyone, and just yeah, one fight at a time, and yeah, I just 
keep myself grounded. Don't really try to, you know, think too far ahead and just, yeah, just put my head down and work. And, and I feel like that's just working for me. And, and, and plus, I'm feeling more and more confident, you know, with, with each and every fight. I'm dealing with you guys and dealing with, with the whole media, dealing with the traveling, you know, dealing with a weight cut, dealing with being in front of the cameras, just dealing with just the more experience I feel I'm getting, the, the, the more confident I'm feeling with about everything. Yeah. So, and it's sort of translating in the cage where I'm just able to be myself and just let loose, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to attribute things uh, unfairly, but how has that association with Volk helped? I certainly don't want to take away from what you do with your team, yeah, yeah. but being around someone like that sometimes does help. Anyway. Yeah, like I've seen like firsthand what Volk does. Like I've been a part of his camps, like trying to imitate Ortega, trying to imitate Korean Zombie, trying to imitate Max Holloway. You know, I've been a part of these camps and I've just seen just that there's no, there's nothing different that he does. Like there's no secret technique that he's doing. There's no special move, you know, it's literally just him just working his ass off. And uh, it's, it's kind of like reassuring for me that I can see that he's doing that and he's training out of a small gym, yep. you know, he's training out of a small gym in the middle of Wollongong. And it just gives me more confidence that like that I can do the exact same thing. He's like, he's a, a massive inspiration for me, you know, both inside and outside the cage. So yeah, yeah. Two undefeated featherweights uh, going one opening up the main card here in London as well. Uh, great spot. Like, what should we be? What should we be excited for? Through your eyes, my eyes. Ah, oh, well, it's basically. In my eyes, I think it's a it's a, uh, a mirror style matchup. I think me both both me and both me and you, uh, both me and Lerone are both uh, uh, very similar in terms of fighting style. We both bring it. We're both competitors. We both you know always try and find a way to win. That's why I feel like we're both undefeated at featherweight. <coughs> yeah. Nice. When you look at Lerone though, I mean, he's very good, right? I don't know if you tell you that. He's very good, he's very polished, he doesn't really make mistakes. Um, so, when you've sat down with Igor and you study the tape and stuff, what is the approach? Again, like I said, mirror matchup. If I had to fight myself, what would I do to beat myself? And to beat myself, I'd, I'd attack the legs, to be honest. I'd kick his legs. And he's got a very leaping in type explosive style. So. I'd like to catch him on the way in. I think he, he expects me to run away when he lunges in, and that's where you sort of fall into the trap of getting caught with something, where I don't think he's going to expect me to step in when he steps in. So he's gonna think he's gonna land a big you know, one-two, and I run away, and then he finishes on a mm. kick or something, where I'm gonna step to him on that one-two, and then he thinks he's gonna throw a kick, and I'm gonna catch him on that. Either or in between. So you'll meet him head on? Oh yeah, he's got yeah, him. yeah, like, yeah, I think so. Um, he has good takedown defense, but you don't really see offensive grappling from him, do you? Are, are you you're not expecting him. I'm not ex like, again. I'm I'm not expecting him to take me down. And if he does, I think it, it'd be you know sort of ba bad for him. I feel like he'll, he'll tire him out more so. Um, but other than that, bro, I just they would tell us they didn't watch the Shai Yulan fight. Yeah, they what's that? <laughs> they would tell us they didn't watch the Shai Yulan fight. Yeah, yeah. They didn't, yeah, they didn't watch my fight with that, that small wrestler guy that was just constantly trying to take me down. And he ended up gassing, and then we just took yeah. over. So, um, yeah, I again I expect honestly it's gonna be from the get go fast, explosive for as long as it lasts. But I think he starts to slow down as I start to pick up. Interesting. Nugget with Alan training with those guys in the yeah, park as yeah, well. Yeah. Has there been? I mean, you know, I'm taking it with a pinch of salt, but yeah. it's a nice little thing. But has he been able to offer you much? No, it was a long time ago, it right? Was a long time ago. It's more so we just have banter about it. Like me and Alan, we, we he always keeps it lighthearted. He always keeps it. He should be here, but he's actually training up at uh, Liverpool. Where, where do you where do you go top today? Team, top team. Liverpool top team today. Oh, okay. We go train there today, oh, so he should have been here today, but. Um, nah, like we just have bands up. He keeps it lighthearted. He's like, he'll he'll always say, "That's it. I'm gonna tell her and everything that you're okay. doing." And like you know, <laughs> he's just like, he just keeps he's a typical Alan. Yeah. 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 Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest.
Yeah, oh yeah, the beast back Adrenaline pumping through my veins Can't relax, original I am not the same as these cats I sting them if they never ever mind And they beeswax I don't ever cap, but I'm wearing like three hats Never been a rat, but I know where the cheese at You'll never get a trophy Cause they all here where we at You better believe that When it's all said and done I still be here standing Never took a loss And it ain't something that I'm planning I dare you to say something My focus is A1 Every dog has his day It's been mine since day one This is real grinding I'm still climbing Why you still trying? I'm still shining It's real blinding And I'm getting hotter too Talking top two I'm not a two You let the pressure bother you And I do what I gotta do Let's go home